Uh, my name is Matthew, and uh, I'm a xyrophobic. <laughs> okay, you're clearly aware that that means I'm afraid of razors. Yes. <laughs> so I must apologise to anyone in the room who suffers from pogonophobia, uh, which of course is a uh, fear of beards. Uh, and after saying xyrophobia and pogonophobia, I must also apologise to anyone suffering from helenologophobia, uh, which is a fear of scientific terminology. Uh, and after that, it would be wrong not to apologise to uh, anyone suffering from a fear of long words. Uh, which, of course, is uh, Hippopotamonstrosis scripidaliophobia. Now, there, there is actually a phobia called uh, phobophobia, uh, which is the fear of phobias. Uh, but to anyone suffering from that, uh, all I can say is, you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a long way to go for a broader like that one. But, though, but those are just a couple of phobias that I could sort of weave a sort of a narrative through. The, the ones that I could fit into that hilarious piece of well-crafted wordplay, you know. I mean, there's, there's loads of them out there. There's, a, there's arachiobutria phobia, uh, which is the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth and suffocating. Uh, or my own personal favourite, uh, a natadea phobia, uh, which is the fear that somewhere, uh, somehow, uh, a duck is watching you. 100% true. But anyway, um, so yeah, um, it, it, it'll come as no surprise to any of you, but uh, I'm single. Um, and, and that's weird to me because, you know, I, I know exactly how to make a woman go weak at the knees, you know. Uh, you, you lock her in a dark room, keep her away from sunlight, and don't give her access to calcium, you know. That's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a rickets joke there. Uh, oh dear. Uh, you're, you're yourself here in the corner. What, what was your name? Kate. Kate, 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 do you play chess at all, Kate? No. Yeah, don't. Ah, oh, that's a shame, Kate, because if you did, you know, I'd, I'd challenge you to a game after the gig, you know, I'd, I'd let you be white, Kate, you know, because, uh, because I like it when a girl makes the first move, you know? That's a, that's a joke about the rules of chess there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, so, sorry about that. No, no, if, if it had been drafts or checkers, you know, it, uh, you'd have been black, you know, but, uh, or if it had been guess who or connect four or something like that, you know, uh, then we'd have been in a sticky situation, Kate, because in those games, you know, it's the youngest player who goes first, and you, you never ask a woman her age, you know. But, uh, but Kate, uh, quit playing games with my heart, you know. Uh, uh, that's a music reference there, folks. Uh, uh, that's the Backstreet Boys from 1995. In fact, it, it, it's, it's quite a modern music reference as far as my music references go, because actually my music tastes, they, they tend to belong to the same era as my hair, you know. Kind of the, the, the guitar rock and the cheese of the late 70s and 80s, you know. A friend of mine was recently trapped in a long car journey with me, and he, he quite accurately described my music tastes as the bands with the best one-hit wonders in the world. You have all their other songs. 